Copper and tin are made up of particles called atoms. In pure copper, all the atoms are the same as each other. It's the same with tin, but tin atoms are bigger. A pure element is made of just one type of atom. The idea of the atom goes back as far as the ancient Greek philosophers. Democritus was one of the first to think that everything was made of particles. As he looked at a pile of sand, he could see it was made of grains. Democritus thought that if you could look close up and actually see inside any substance, you'd find that it too was made of tiny particles. If you take a piece of cheese and cut it in half and then in half again and keep on cutting, eventually you'll be left with a tiny grain of cheese. Your knife isn't delicate enough to cut it any further. But Democritus imagined that you could keep on cutting. He decided that you would eventually get to a point beyond which it couldn't be divided anymore. Atomos is Greek for not cuttable, so Democritus called the smallest unit of matter the atom. Back then he had no way of proving whether atoms existed, but today high-tech machines allow us to see them. A layer of aluminium gives this CD its silvery sheen. But at greater and greater magnification it looks quite different. Keep on magnifying the image thousands and thousands of times and eventually you can see the individual aluminium atoms. So, just how small is an atom? Imagine building a pile of CDs as high as you can. Just think how many you would need to build a pile 9 kilometers high, as tall as Mount Everest. Well, that's the same as the number of atoms in the height of just one CD. Nearly nine million!